first thing in, in the morning, before I even wake up, you know, four o'clock in the morning, I would hear my grandfather playing his slacky. And the last thing in the night, you know, I would hear the music. In the talent-rich world of Hawaiian slacky, few can claim as many accomplishments as George Kahumoku Jr. With his endless musical abilities, he's written and recorded countless albums and soundtracks, won multiple Grammy and Hoku Awards, and along the way, he's become a mentor for those looking to follow in the slacky tradition. His many skills have earned him the reputation as Hawaii's Renaissance man. And with everything he does, from farming to writing to performing, the sharing of knowledge and experience is always at the center. Well, it goes back to when I was probably uh, born, you know. I was born in a, a, a farm and a ranch on the Big Island. And my great-grandfather planted enough for a thousand people to survive for a year. That was his thinking all the time. Because he was responsible for like our village, he was called the Haku, or the chief, you know, for that for our area. And uh, the name Kahu means the priest, Moku, the island, the priest of the island. So I, what he really did was live up his, to his name, and I feel like I, I owe it to myself to do the same. So I, I, I've, I've had that thinking my whole life, you know. And the teaching was just a norm, a natural thing for me to happen, you know what I mean? So I think it's important to teach people how to live and how to, uh, those values that I learned from a long time ago. I could take care of, of 100 people on my land. And guess what? While I'm taking care of the 100, I'm going to teach that 100 how to teach another 100. And eventually we can take care of this whole island. We should be thinking like that, you know what I mean? Every June, people from all over the world gather for George Kahumoku Jr.'s slacky guitar and ukulele workshop at the Mauian Hotel in Napili. And it is here that the skills and traditions of Hawaiian slacky get passed on. This is our 11th annual workshop that we're having on the Pili Bay at the Mauin Hotel. The first year we put it out, we had 24 students, you know. We had no budget, so, you know, it was only me, I think, and Sir Pahinui were the first instructors. Then the next year we got like a, uh, about 120 students, you know. And the next year we had like 250 students, so it was too much. We started taking off with the whole Napili Bay. We had people all over. So it's, it's really, you know, it's just like a family thing. So we took our Hawaiian extended family and we extended it throughout the world. Last year, uh, one of our students uh, came all the way from Switzerland, some from Sweden. We got about two or three from Japan. Well, I think the, the, big, the biggest thing I think they learn about is family values. We have a Bob who came with his daughter now, and he came all the way from Australia. This way he gets to spend quality time with his daughter. He's dancing the hula, she's dancing the hula, she, he's playing ukulele, she's playing ukulele. He's learning guitar, she's learning guitar. So it becomes a family thing. When I look at the student, I always look at what gifts does the student have that's unique? What are they good at? What is it that they, they, they excel at? Everybody has a gift. And my, I think the thing that I have, the gift I have is finding that gift that they have and helping them to, to recognize it and work on it so that they become better at their, their gift. You know, it's, it's teaching. So, and I enjoy teaching, you know. It's sort of like you're taking something that doesn't know and you bring enlightenment and knowledge. How, how great is that, you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, Uncle George Kalamoku Jr. Every Wednesday night for five years, George has organized the Masters of Hawaiian Slacky Guitar Concert Series at the Napili Kai Beach Resort, thrilling Hawaii residents and visitors with the best talent from all over the islands. of Slacky, you know, it's not only the music, it's the culture, you know, it's the fact of you sharing the aloha, that kind of thing. It's that sense that you feel at peace, nahi nahi, not only with the music, but with yourself.
There's no doubt that George Kahumoku Jr. is one of Hawaii's most versatile and gifted slacky artists. But perhaps what he's best known for is his dedication to family and community, along with a deep desire to help the people around him. And that quality makes George Kahumoku Jr. an irreplaceable member of Hawaii's Ohana. Well, the thing is, I've been doing this all my life, and I really owe it to my great grandparents and my parents, and then for influencing my life that I'm able to share it with others. You know, it's so simple. <laughs> the thing is, you know, you take the good stuff and you just kind of duplicate it or you know mimic it, and then we just keep that going. And stuff that's really bad, you just let it go. And my thing is, I can reach everybody, but anybody who I come in to contact with. You know, it's not, it's not only for the rest of my life, but it's forever. You know, our souls are interlocked, and I'll be with that person forever.